good evening. We call to order this session of the West Valley City Council, our regular meeting. We appreciate those of you who have uh, come to uh, listen and who may listen in on the internet or actually watch this later on. Uh, we report that we have a quorum present. Uh, we have one member of the council excused. Uh, Councilman Rushton will not be here tonight. With that then, we... Uh, and I need to get just one item up here. I closed it down. I believe... Uh, Charlie Finn? Oh, there he is. Uh, for our opening ceremony tonight, we I've invited Pastor Charlie, is it Finn? Yes. From the Cambodian Church on 5600 West. And uh, he's been a volunteer pastor for 30 years. Uh, works full-time for the state of Utah, but is a West Valley City resident. And uh, uh, we'll give him some time now for our opening ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please pray with me. From the African throne, that Tungan Sopatai Pertin proposed of Tungan Sopatai ប្រជាជាថ្ងៃហើយសូមត្រង់ប្រទានสุภรรคคุณคณะจํานํานักองค์ประชุมให้สุภรรคประเทศในกรุ๊ปจําเปรตญาประเทศในกรุ๊ปจําดําเรให้สมอยการประชุมที่บ้านสําหรับพระบร
and our first resolution 14-153 and this is a contract to innovative marketing systems for a striping project and I believe if I recall correctly this is about 800,000 feet of the 1.4 million square or linear feet that they have uh, in the city that uh, this contract will cover and so this will uh, essentially they do it every two years so this will cover uh, a major uh, more than half of that so that is the resolution that is before us and it is in the amount of $75,000. No budget opening required. This was planned. So, with that introduction of it, to the council for comments or action. Councilwoman Lang. Mayor, I move for approval of resolution 14 153. We have a motion to approve the resolution. Do we have a second? Second. We had a second and a third there. Uh, both councilmen. Councilman, I guess. Uh, we have that motion properly before us. To uh, that then, any discussion? And we note for those listening in or those here tonight, these are items that we discussed last week. This is our second viewing of it. And we typically on almost everything wait until our second review to actually take a motion or action on it. So seeing no further discussion or comments, we'll place resolution 14-53 uh, to a vote. Uh, is the council in favor of approving this contract? If so, please say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The contract is approved by the council, Resolution 14-153. We now go to Resolution 14-154. Uh, this is a change order to the Kilgore contracting for the asphalt overlay project. And uh, this particular change order is for that frontage road along SR 201 on the south side from Bangalore Highway to 4700 West. And uh, uh, having driven on that recently, I do agree that that certainly could use it. It's in very poor shape. From my un engineering point of view. And that's uh, from our Class C road funds and from some funds received from the state in the amount of uh, $239,118.5. So, with that, then to the council for comments or action. And Mr. Vincent has been anxious to try it. <laughs> Get one in. I don't know if he wants to get the first chance here. Sure, I'm just trying to keep the meeting moving. Move for approval of resolution 14154. We have a motion to approve the resolution. Do we have a second? Second. Councilwoman Lang has the second. The motion is properly before us. Any further discussion? Seeing none, then uh, all in favor of approving resolution 14 154 for the change order for the asphalt overlay project. Please say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Motion passes unanimously. The change order is approved. We now go to resolution 14-155 to approve amendment number one of the court services of Utah. And I believe it's a change on the payment schedule. We had approved this previously but there were a couple of places where they put, I believe, $30, and it needed to be 35 to reflect the actual agreement. And uh, that was the intent, and that's what the budget was, was based upon that number. So this is just making uh, a technical correction to the contract to reflect our actual work. 
then to the council then for comment or action on this resolution. Mayor? Move for approval of resolution 14155. We have a motion for approval of the resolution. Do we have a second? Second. Councilman Nordfeld has a second. Uh, Councilman Bueller had the original motion. That is properly before us. Do we have any further discussion or comment? Seeing none, we'll place it for a vote. All in favor of approving amendment number one to the Agreement for Court Services of Utah, resolution 14-155, please say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Motion passes unanimously. We now go to resolution 14-156, ratifying the city manager's appointment uh, members of the Utah Cultural Celebration Center Foundation Committee. And uh, we did have a, any word there? I'm going to get the right one up here. Two, two, four, eight. I had to make sure I had the right number. Eight members of that committee that will be appointed. And this is the new foundation that was set up to raise funds for projects related to the Cultural Celebration Center. With that then, to the Council. I, uh, I'm going to have a comment. Oh, thank you, Mayor. I'm going to have a comment and also I'm going to make a motion. Uh, thank you for Mr. Uh, Isaac. I've been working very hard trying to get these people on board with us and I appreciate it very much. Yeah. And uh, motion to approve uh, resolution 14-156. We have the motion before us. Do we have a second? Second. Councilwoman Lang has the second. The motion is now properly before us. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we will now place it for a vote. All in favor of approving Resolution 14-156 to ratify the city manager's appointment of members of the Utah Cultural Celebration Foundation Committee. Please say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Motion passes unanimously. It's approved. We now go to item number eight on our agenda. This is under unfinished business. This is a follow-up from previous discussions that we have had. Application number Z-12014 which relates to ordinances where a public hearing was held and then closed on ordinance number 14-29 and resolution 14-89 from June 3rd. And this is the development of property at approximately 3700 South, 6400 West by Fieldstone, Utah investors changing from agricultural to R110 single family residential to the council for comment or action. Councilman Vincent. Mayor, just a, a few comments on, on, on both these applications and the, and the piece of property. I know when this originally came to us uh, and the Newton family were all here, and talked about their excitement about uh, um, subdividing this property and allowing their family members to to move on and, and move to other locations. Uh, um, they also talked about uh, wanting the property to be something special, a legacy for the city. And so I, I think as we look at this, this rezone that, that um, we probably haven't seen that special piece that has come before us. Um, anything that's new and interesting. Although we've seen a, um, a property zoned the way lot size that we would be uh, happy with, there, there wasn't anything unique about, uh, about this new subdivision. And I, I, I believe that um, we may want to reconsider these applications as we, as we move forward. Further comments? Uh, 
uh, and I just need to clarify, uh, for we have an unfinished item, if we take no action, does it automatically come back onto the agenda at a future date? Like in a couple of different ties. It just, it doesn't take a motion to just end it. It just dies for lack of any motion. Is that correct? You don't have to move on to the next item on the agenda or anything like that. I'm so used to a different set of rules that I have to clarify that because we don't do this very often. So no action in itself is an action. Essentially, it's a denial if there's no action. I believe. Okay. So how do I know what? When? How long do I wait for the silence before I move to the next item on the agenda? I'm sorry. Because I'm so used to having an action, I just I don't want to rush ahead of you and just say we're going to move on. So, Councilman yeah. Bueller. You know, it's with a little bit of mixed feelings because I think that we, uh, well, I bet that we led the developer uh, down a path where we were trying to, when this came upon us, we were trying to decide on what development would be good there if we really wanted to rezone it from agriculture. We wanted it to be R112 or R110 if we wanted to uh, preserve this property as agricultural and we we uh, ended up throwing out a park and maybe we ought to have a park there and then they put the park in and uh, now we don't seem to be willing to uh, proceed as uh, presented to us and um, so for clarity I'm going to make a motion that this uh, application or and ordinance 14-29 be denied. Councilman Nordfeld. Well, I'd like to second the motion and, and add a comment that uh, that I, I really think that this land will be developed and um, and and will be a great piece added to to our city. But um, I'm concerned for for the future of our city, and I think that that uh, we want something that's going to be great for a very long time. And uh, while we're working through this the general plan and, and making um, plans for our city for long-term future, that it's, it's worth it to put this off for a little while to make sure it's right. Further comment or discussion? No, I take it. Yeah, I, I didn't necessarily mean you had to make a motion. I just wanted to know what I should do as chair. I understand, Mayor, and, and uh, you, you just understand you can't make me make a motion. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for being helpful, because it's hard to have silence. So. Further discussion or comment? There's, uh, we've held, just for an informational, because there was a question from the audience, there has been a public hearing held on this, and no action was taken before. Our rules do not permit uh, public comment other than at our public comment at the start of the meeting and during a public hearing. I have to restate this just to make sure I get it right. Uh, so that, uh, and to be fair and consistent, that rule has been followed apparently for a ex long period of time, long before I came, and I believe long before many of the council members here came. Maybe not before Steve. Steve's been here almost forever. Excuse me, Councilman Vincent has been here for an extended period of time. With that then, uh, I think I would uh, perhaps make a couple of comments before we vote on this. One, this ties into the discussion we had in our previous meeting. And uh, on this, I'm concerned uh, as well where there was a discussion that this come back to the council, but I would hope uh, that this, on part of the city staff, that they do involve some of the key council members who had specific issues and concerns <coughs> on the development that they be involved in that uh, so that we get their info, input as we go along. I think it would also be beneficial to perhaps 
at least give the opportunities to some from the development community to have input into that process to see if there's anything that we're overlooking and at least give them an opportunity to have some input in discussions with the city, with you know whoever in that uh, department actually have, is working on that. So, so that there is an opportunity at least for some discussion on that. I mean, they could talk to me and I'm happy to listen, but uh, some of the stuff that, uh, for example, Councilman Vincent brought up, I had never heard of before and wouldn't know it if I saw it. I'm a CPA, have very little knowledge, although I do know what Sheetrock is. And I do know what Stucco is because I have it on the side of my house. But there are many issues there that I'm not familiar with. So as long as we kind of be inclusive in that. And the third thing I would mention is uh, hopefully we will do all that we can to bring this to a conclusion uh, rapidly. Next week we may we will have before us a proposal which will be voted on that may pass. In two weeks. In two weeks, you're correct. Uh, I'm going to have some other things to do next week. That uh, we see if we can make that a shorter period than six months. We don't want to rush it. We want to take the time to do it right, but if possible, we want to shorten that uh, in order to get things back on track. Those are my comments. With that, then, uh, I don't think this is controversial from what I've seen in the council members. This is another one where I just have to make a judgment call and I'll say, we'll just do a voice vote. So all in favor of the motion to deny for the time. Could you restate your motion again? I'm sorry. My motion was just to deny. To deny. I expect, as uh, Councilman Norfeld stated, this property will be developed, will be developed into a nice piece. But uh, um, for my part, I'm not ready to go forward with a rezone tonight. With that clarification of the uh, motion, all in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. Motion passes unanimously. We now have application number Z-2-2014. We have a resolution. Uh, now, excuse me, that motion, did that cover? It, it was on the ordinance. Yep. No, we have a no, no, development what agreement now. Uh, okay, so I'm sorry, you're right. So it was only on the one. Okay, thank you. Now on the development agreement, which is uh, resolution 14-89, to the council for comment or action, Councilwoman Lang. Uh, Mayor, I would like to move for denial of resolution 14-89. Oh. Whereas without the zone change, we don't, do not need a development agreement at this time. So the motion is before us. Do we have a second? Second. Councilman. Euler makes a second. We now have it before us. Any further discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, we'll place it for a vote. All in favor of denying this request, please say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Motion passes unanimously. It's denied. Now we move on to item number B and ordinance number 14-30, which is a almost, it's just next door to the same one just before. Uh, 3654 South, 6400 West, same thing, a rezone from agricultural to single family residential, R110. To the council then for action. May I move for, for denial of uh, ordinance number 1430? Second. Uh, Councilman Vincent gave us the motion to deny. It was seconded by Councilman Bueller. The motion is properly before us. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll place it for a vote. All in favor of denying the application, please, for resolution 14-30, please say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The motion passes unanimously. It is denied. Then we have resolution 14-90. 
This is the same thing as was discussed previously. This is for the development agreement on that same property to the council for discussion or action. Councilwoman Lang. Mayor, I move for denial of resolution 14-90. Motion is we deny this resolution. Do we have a second? A second. That was by Councilman Hume. We have the motion properly before us. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll place it for a vote. All in favor of denying resolution 14-90, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. The motion passed unanimously. The resolution is denied. Then we go to a motion or no. Any need for an executive session? No, sir. Then we have completed our scheduled work for this meeting. Any further comments from the council? Move to adjourn. The motion is that we adjourn. Non debatable. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. We are adjourned. The motion passes.